Hi there. Welcome to the Health Analytic Insights Podcast. This podcast is all about creating a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about the field of health informatics. I hope to share information and advice in topics such as health analytics, digital health, biomedical engineering, and data visualization in healthcare. And in exchange, I would love to hear from you, dear listener, about your experience and interest in this field. You can drop me a line at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com, and this email, along with any references discussed during this podcast, will be listed in the show notes below. If this resonates with you, don't forget to follow and subscribe to this podcast, as I'll be releasing new episodes bi-weekly. Welcome everyone to the Health Analytic Insights Podcast. In this episode, I want to break down some of the common interview questions that I have encountered when searching for a job in health informatics. For me, when I was in the process of job searching and I finally heard back from interviewers, this would automatically trigger me to do a deep dive into potential questions that employers might ask using tools such as Glassdoor. One thing about me is I am an over-preparer, so I will research something to the max. And I find that interviewing is often a nerve-wracking experience And especially when you're early in your career, you might not necessarily have the skills or experience to feel like the interview is more of a balanced situation where you are interviewing the interviewer and the interviewer is interviewing you to see if this job is a best fit. Sometimes when it's early in your career and you're just looking to get that experience, it can feel one-sided. So having that prior knowledge by researching really helped me prepare prior to the interview and having those questions in my back pocket helped me feel more relaxed and prepared for the interviews. So through interviewing and researching countless job posts, I have noticed certain similarities in the questions and skills employers are looking for when hiring applicants in the health informatics field. And here in this podcast episode, I'd like to go over six common interview questions you might encounter when searching for a job. So the first question you might hear is, what would you do if a clinician ran into your office and immediately wanted you to build a report, ASAP? And another similar question that I've received is, how would you prioritize demands from different healthcare departments for reports? So both of these questions have a similar flavor. Interviewers might be wanting to test your prioritization skills and how you organize multiple projects. In addition, interviewers might be looking to see if you mention keeping your manager in the loop with the project requests you might receive from external stakeholders and departments, and also keeping your colleagues aware of different reports that are being requested. If you're part of a business intelligence team or a clinical decision support team, it's important that you're keeping both your supervisor and your colleagues in the loop when it comes to reports from external stakeholders, because it allows you to not duplicate work and ensure that you're giving value for individuals who need it. It's also important to have a centralized system where you can keep track of all these requests, whether you're using tools such as Jira, SharePoint, or OneNote. It's key to have transparency when it comes to prioritizing requests that you and your coworker might have, because you don't want to get into a situation where you're serving the needs of one department and other departments have not received anything from the health informatics team. Especially in the healthcare field, you really have to show what value you are producing when you're in an informatics or analytics role to the healthcare field because there are so many other departments that need funding, that need to be prioritized, and it's important that you're fulfilling the requests from different departments so that they can do their job to the best of their ability and can understand what gaps might be falling through the cracks, which can be showcased by producing reports or dashboards for their knowledge. So the next series of questions that you might hear in a health informatics interview are what is the difference between prevalence and incidence? Give examples of how sensitivity and specificity are used in healthcare. In addition, you might hear what experience do you have with data visualization tools? How do you communicate data insights to an audience with a non-technical background? And what large-scale clinical data sets have you worked with? What challenges did you take from this? 
So these whole hosts of questions really focus on what technical skills do you have and what is your proficiency with these skills? So I would suggest going over key concepts in biostatistics and epidemiology prior to the interview, as most job postings are looking for some type of degree in health informatics, epidemiology, or a related degree. Also, interviewers might want to know the level of technical aptitude you have in programs such as SQL, R, or data visualization tools such as Power BI and Tableau, and how you apply these tools to clinical data sets. If you're applying to an analytical heavy job, they might want to know what skills you have developed to deal with messy, unstructured data. This is quite common with large scale clinical data sets. For instance, you might want to know how you deal with formatting date types, how you deal with concatenating first and last names, all these little tips and tricks that are commonly used to clean the data. So the third last set of questions that I have encountered when searching for a health informatics position are give examples of how you work in a team environment. How do you deal with conflict among colleagues? Why do you want to work for this organization? And what got you interested in the healthcare field? These two above questions test your ability to work in a multidisciplinary team, as this is quite common when working in the healthcare field. You might be working with midwives, nurses, developers, and analysts. Also, interviewers will want to understand the motivation behind you wanting to work in healthcare. Do you have a passion? Because oftentimes, healthcare can lag behind other fields in terms of technological advancements, so you really need to have a lot of patience and understanding that patient safety comes first. And they might want to know that you're passionate about the specific hospital or healthcare organization that you're applying to. So to summarize, the key requirements for most health informatics jobs I have observed include understanding of clinical terminology, experience dealing with large clinical data sets to drive decision making, experience with writing SQL queries, experience with data visualization tools such as Power BI, Tableau, Click, etc., experience working with a multidisciplinary team, and a relevant degree in a related health discipline. Some employers could prefer more so a degree in IT if you have a degree in computer science and then you pick up clinical knowledge within the job and some employers might prefer that people have a clinical degree and then they pick up IT skills on the job. It really varies by employer, but look for a future podcast episode where I talk about how to transition into a health informatics role if you have a clinical degree. So therefore, most of the questions that you will find when interviewing for a health informatics position will stem from the above requirements that I just gave. And I would love to hear from you. What questions have you received when interviewing in the health informatics field? It would be great to get your feedback so I can compile a mega list of questions for people to have as a resource. You can connect with me at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com and that email is listed in the show notes below and while you're down there you can download your free guide to starting your career in health informatics thanks and have a wonderful day thank you for listening to the health analytic insights podcast i'd love to hear from you about topics i should cover in future episodes please consider subscribing and leaving a review have a wonderful day